How's it going, everybody, wherever you listen to this podcast right here? This is episode 118 of the Temper Zone Podcast with your host, me, Amir Max, and that's all facts. And ladies and gentlemen, my special guest in the Zoom building, like, where do I even, like, start to describe this dude's style, man? Like, this dude is a spit tie. He's got flow. Obviously, he's got bars. But on top of that, he can, like, sing, sing. It's like... It's pretty crazy the combination this guy got. You don't see this too often. And um, the fact that I've been able to work with him as an artist and do a couple joints is really dope because um, he's somebody that I let everyone know just how dope of a spitter and just how dope of an artist he is in general. Ladies and gentlemen, I got life in the building on the rise. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what's going <laughs> on, dog? How's everything been, man? Uh, yo, every, everything's been great, man. Just living life. How, how about you? Bro, I, I can't complain. I, I feel the same, you know, the same way. Just uh, taking it one day at a time, not trying to overwhelm myself in this over world of overly information. You know, it's all over the yeah. place. You just gotta, you know, keep your head up with all that. You know what I mean? So exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I, you know, I definitely wanted to ask you about, uh, you know, your, your, you know, you coming up in the game and whatnot. But you're from M M Methuen, right? Methuen, Mass. Yes, born and raised. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's that's yeah. dope. That's dope. I went to UMass Lowell, so like I didn't even know where Methuen was until I went to UML. So like when oh, I yeah. saw when, when I saw like you, you were from there, I was like, okay, where it up? Like, so I, yeah. I, I know where that is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is there any like big name rappers that came out of Methuen? I know that might be like it's a it's a very it's probably not the biggest you know not town, not but, big name, but um just like terminology from uh, Lawrence, like oh, just okay, yeah. you know that that's like the town over for me. So oh, okay, yeah, Good man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's dope, man. Well, I think you're going to be the one to put Methuen on the map, bro. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> if, there's, if there's any one that's going to take it, take it, take, uh, like, get the name out there for Methuen, man. Yeah. I, I'm going to put my money on you. <laughs> right. And like, just like Boston in general, you know what I mean? There's a lot of talent out here that people, you know, need to see, you know, um, including ourselves on our own front, you know what I mean? Just pe people really need to, need to see that. So like, we could be the ones to, you know, put that in the for to help put that in the forefront. Yeah, definitely. You know, and I feel like there's a lot of more uh, camaraderie and a lot more uh, just teamwork in the in the game right now, especially in this the mass scene, the New England scene in general. Right. Um, I uh, you know it's kind of uh, like the the group that you're a part of, um, Minds of One Collective Genius. Um, how did you come about joining that group? I'm curious. So um, there's these two people called uh, named uh, you know Joe Kelly and um, Ian. Uh, they go by they they rap too. They go by the names of Thirteen Ball and Just for Kicks. Mm -hmm. uh, Just for Kicks actually like went on tour with uh, Chris Webby uh, last year, last fall. So that, that's pretty damn sick. Uh, it's it, crazy. You know, man. it helped give more visibility to you know our brands and all that. So you know, we have uh, fans from you know the Midwest now, and we have some fans in uh, Vermont. I'm, I'm trying to do a show up there. Um, but yeah, like um, Joe Kelly uh, met. Uh, Jay Faith a while ago. I, I forget like what event it was, but I mean, um, and then like jo uh, Joe saw, saw me perform for the first time at, at uh, Opus Underground at like me and Jay Faith show. Um, and he asked, he asked me to be a part of it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, let's run with it. And we've just been real, just doing it ever since. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. That's as simple as that. That's no, that's right. really cool. And I and I really love uh what, what uh that group's got going on. It's just a lot of media coming out of there and just it's a lot of things going on. A lot of dope artists too, obviously. So it's right, yeah. Yeah, it's really dope that uh, you know, that clicked and it, you know, y'all connected. I mean you work right. with, you know, you've worked with Jay Faith and made a collab project. That's really yeah. dope. Y'all should definitely For sure. check that out. It's it's always really dope to, you know, be able to collab with people outside of state as well. You know what I mean? There's, there's a good, there's, there's just as many uh, Massachusetts artists as there is like New Hampshire artists, like, you know, all the people we've come across over the years, um, you know, and we have like two different avenues we, we can go down. We can, you know, market for like, New Hampshire folks and then, you know, um, Massachusetts as well. Yeah, yeah. man. No, that, that's really cool. Yeah. And I think yeah. it's, um, it's a really know, cool I, way to expand like that. Yeah. And I think, you know, we have to be like, you know, being from Boston, like we're very like, yeah, Boston, Boston, even like no matter where you're from in mass, we're going to say you're from Boston. But like we're not that big when it comes to like you look at like in Atlanta or New York or Florida. Right. Like I feel like we do. Have to, yeah, yeah. We do kind of have to come together as New England in order to like really make this shit crank. In my opinion, I know a lot of yeah. times people from Boston don't want to hear that. But like we, if we can 
if New England can work together and like you know you know consider us as one thing, I think it really would help out. In my opinion, yeah, exactly. No, I I I agree. You know, um, I I want to see more like you know booking companies like collabing with each other on a show like more often. You know, what I mean that that's that's the thing I want to do. Um, you know, me, MoFlo, and Jay Faith um, of Minds of One, of One Collective Genius want to um, you know, like open up like a booking branch um, of our collective. So we're gonna, we're going to be doing that next year. Um, we're working on a venue in Lowell at mill number five called the fifth floor. Okay. Um, yeah. And we possibly have like a long blue cat brewery, in, uh, London or New Hampshire as a, as a, a second location. So oh, man. Yeah, we're, we're looking to get shit popping there. No, so, that's, that's what I'm talking so about. So that, man. that, that right there can be, you know, the beginning of something else special too, you know? Yeah, no, no, totally. And yeah. I think, um, I just love to see that the 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 team more collaboration. Been, yeah, the collaboration has yes. just been like through the roof the last few years, man. You know, because everyone used to paint Boston. Like, everyone always painted Boston as like, oh, we don't work together, we don't we don't collab, and that's why and not for the fun. culture. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. yeah. It just sounds like people making excuses. <laughs> yeah. yeah, honestly, yeah. But um, you know, we gotta you know we get past that. We you know we make it happen, man. And you know exactly. Uh, one of your latest tracks that um you came out with since you mentioned Mo Flow. Let's talk about playing cards, man. Uh, what was yeah. the who, who came up with the idea for the video and the song? How did that all come about? <laughs> so Mo Flow had the beat made already. Like he produces as well. So like that um that beat was called Playing Cards, and we just decided to like roll with it. So it's a feel good type of track, you know. Meaning like if you play your cards right through this life, you're you're gonna get through like you know all those hard times and shit like that. All yeah, hardship. Man. Know, put your mind to you know more positive things and play your cards right um yeah <laughs> really what that's about so hell yeah man uh yeah who, was it your idea for the video who's the one that like went through with that i, I it was I mean, a combo yeah <laughs> it was more moflo but it was a combination of of, of us both yeah and, man uh, yeah now i thought that was cool i really liked it because it was just like like don't don't overthink it you know songs called playing right. cards like just you know, be play playing some like you know, play some cards. You know what I mean? Like keep right, it simple. Exactly. You know, yeah. Like I, I really like that idea, man. It was just you know cool to see that aspect because you know a lot of times people with music videos they just you see a lot of the same stuff. So yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> so y'all do it now. I'm like, all right, this this is something different, you know. So I definitely yeah. appreciated that video, man. I was really dope to see, man. Um, I'm, I'm glad you fuck with it. Yeah, man, for sure, yo. Um, I should have asked you this earlier in the uh, interview, but you know, I'm gonna ask it now. Any man, way, man. Um, your, your your rap name, Life. Yes. Um, I know you refer to yourself as Life on the Rise sometimes too. Like I see that mentioned a lot. Um, it's a very like bold rap name. Like if I when I hear someone named Life, I'm expecting like some some like high level rapping, which you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. <laughs> you're living up to the name life. But I, I, yeah. I was just curious, what made you decide to go with that name? I, I have a feeling, but I want you to explain for the people. I had a lot of different names before. Um, when I first started, I was L Train. Like my, my real name's Lewis. L yeah, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. L Train. <laughs> and then um, I was Kid Versatility because that's when I started to like develop like a more like wide like a wide range of like different flows and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. That was like the beginning of my like peak development at the time, you know what I mean? Just starting out. So it, it was like kid versus the versatility. And then it was like kid optimism. Cause like, of course my, my music is like positive and all that shit. Um, but I'm like, you know what? Like I'm going to like cut it down to like one word, something for, you know, one that has like more meaning and like two, like it's more memorable. You know what I mean? So I took the first letter of my name. I, I, I'm a big fan of J. Cole, too. Uh, my, my favorite song from him is Love Yours. Mm -hmm. that, 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 yeah, that, that song hits deep uh, for anybody, I think. Um, so I, I took those two words, Love Yours, and then I finished it off for eternity. Oh, yeah, fire. Hell yeah. Damn, man. I, because I, it's, I, I, it's, I, it's important to, you know, love yourself first, like work on yourself before. Um setting out to do different things and you know sp being able to spread that love back you know what i mean because it, it just goes around you know what i mean so yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a way to bring everybody, everybody together like that mm -hmm. oh, yeah, man. My, yeah. my, my whole brand is life on the rise because like 
I'm on the rise. Yes. And then like another part of my brain is like, we on the rise. I always had like hashtag the two, uh, you know, life on the rise. We on the rise. Cause like anybody that supports me, like we are on the rise. It's not just me. You know what I'm saying? I, like I wouldn't get to a certain level if it wasn't for the fans. So yeah, man. That's yeah. Dope. I really, I yeah. really like the meaning behind that one, man. Yeah, yes, that's, um, really cool. I'm surprised I didn't notice like already. Right. Like I don't know how I missed like the meaning behind your name, man. But I'm glad you and, like, it's it, yeah, sticks for the people, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, it, it sticks too. People ask me my name, I'm like, I'm life. They're like, all right, cool, yeah. Then they'll just be calling me life the entire night. They'll, it, they'll, they'll like always remember that, mm-hmm. like even like after a show. Yeah, man. No, that's 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 really cool, man. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you touched on something about your music spreading, you know, positivity. Um, you know, in this rap game, there's a lot of violence. And a oh, lot yeah. Of negativity, a lot of dark music. Um, too much, too much, way too much drug glorification, too. Yeah. What do you what do you what do you feel about this uh, going on in hip hop? Do you feel like there's going to be like enough is enough for the negativity you think you think positive more rap will get yeah I, again what's your opinion on that do you, i i definitely see that more honestly yes um you wouldn't think 21 savage would collab with like jake hole um you know first coming out because mm-hmm. like they're two separate you know like 21 savage is coming from like mama rap and like jake hole is like lyrical miracle you know yeah. what i mean with, <laughs> with a great with a great story message you know what i'm saying not just like saying shit you know yeah. what i mean yeah. saying yeah. Shit, just to sound fresh but, uh, you know, if, if those two can come together or, you know, anybody else, like, regardless of, like, what branch of hip-hop you're from or, or genre even, you know what I mean? Like, more people are just making shit happen like that. And, you know, music as itself, not just rap, but um, m- music as a whole is just has, has elevated to such a level that we probably never thought we'd see, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, if you really think about it. Mm-hmm. No, that's that's real stuff, man. And, yeah, and, you know, I we definitely need to see more of a shift in in rap. You know, you see all these artists getting these Rico cases, and it's like you yeah. you gotta wonder to yourself. <laughs> it's like can can rap sustain this this violence in the music? Like, how much longer can it be until like there's more artists that are rapping on the other end? And, you know, you see it. There's definitely. It's not like it's not there, but like. You know, at what point is it really going to give? Because a lot of times the artists that do rap positive or are not considered street, a lot of times people will consider them corny. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just not cool. I have always, so that's always like, like, how do you not see, like, can't see everything for what rap is? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things, man. And, um, you know, speaking of that, uh, you know, artists who's definitely of that nature. Um, uh, I was looking at your, your bio and your influences. You know, you mentioned Logic, Kendrick. Joiner, Tech Nine, I, I love all those artists. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're all, yeah. those are all just like just higher <laughs> rappers, man. Um, no, man but like, no. yeah, man. But one of the artists that I know you really mess with is NF. Um, yeah. What's your? Do you think he's underrated? Like, cause he's a he's a unique case. Like, he's super popular, makes a ton of money. Yeah. Like, it feels like yeah, like one really big hit. But like, other than like that, it feels like. He doesn't get that like recognition, in my opinion. He has a few hits. He has a few. He has a, hits. He has a few think, hits. Don't get me wrong. I mean, yeah, like, he's, yeah. one of, he, he's one of those artists where he can just like come out the cut and just like explode. You know what I mean? He's like reached a new level each time he's dropped an album. Boom, boom, boom. So he's he's got a lot of you know influential power because of what he talks about and all that shit. And all that shit. I think he's underrated, yes, but at the same time, he's experienced like a huge boom where he was number one for a while. Mm-hmm. So I mean, he's already you know, done everything he has wanted to do, of course, you know, like yeah. what, 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 what more can he do other than just, you know, drop the music that he always has been at a new level each and every time. Yeah. And you know, I mean, he, he, he has a big fan base that, you know, it's, that's his core fan base right there. You know what I mean? Like however many, you know, you have like, he has like three, like, I don't know, three or 4 million on, on like uh, Instagram and millions of people fuck with his music. That's really all that matters, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So like, yeah. He's all, he's there, man. You know, he's just, just gotta keep going, keep riding that wave, keep, keep up that consistency. Yeah, it's always yeah. funny when people are like, uh, um, like. Who's that? One no one listens there. to Len F. Like no, like who oh, listens to Len F? You people, see, yeah, you always see people say, "Who listens to this guy?" Like you see, I've seen yeah. it in the comments because like there was a list of like the top twenty rappers and like terms like income and whatnot. And NF was like number fifteen, and everyone was so shocked. I'm like, all y'all rap fans, 
and y'all claim you're rap fans, but you're not even aware of this guy. It's like, eh, right. Like, like y'all gotta- chances are you have not heard his music nearly enough. Yeah. Like- you, know I mean? <laughs> you, you may have heard like one of his hits, but that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? You didn't dive into the artist yourself, like yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, yeah. Like, I like to get, say, to know, get to know a person, man. Yeah, right. It's just jumping yeah. to conclusions so quickly. I mean, those are like right. the those are like the toxic fans of the rap genre. That's not all rap fans, obviously. Um, you know, it's just right. like when I see it, it's just like, like if you I, like, I think, if you, yeah, if you like the like you said, like a Kendrick or a Joiner, it's like you probably might like NF too. It's just seems, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it's always interesting to me. Um, and and it took a while, but I think you know a lot more people are just like seeing what he does and they really fuck with him. Yeah, man. I think yeah. You know, I think, you know, he has just, that collab with uh, Tech Nine, you know, Hobson and all that stuff. Like they have a huge, huge fan base, and a lot of those people fuck with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think Eminem even um called called him out in a song, right? I think he did. Could be wrong though, but I feel I think he like did like a subliminal at NF or something like Maybe. that. I mean, yeah, but if Eminem, yeah, Eminem shouting you out, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it was NF and Token he called out like subliminally because, yeah. like, you know, they're probably influenced by Eminem, so it's just like, and they're white yeah. rappers, so he's just gonna you know, do something. So it, it's oh, yeah. easy to throw them under that category, like the next Eminem, you know what I mean? When yeah, they can be completely different. Maybe, maybe they don't need to, like someone like NF, he doesn't need to be. You know, and F, like just like the next Eminem, the next anything, just himself. Yeah, he's, he's NF is yeah. NF. like it's very yeah, exactly. like they don't really gotta compare to anyone else, man. But yeah, right. no, I, I I definitely just had to ask you uh, about that one, man. Um, just you know, just curious about what your take on his just this whole career. It's just fascinating to see an artist like blow up in the way he did because it's you know some people. I just no, he's not like a mainstream like a Kendrick or like a Logic, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like the fact he's still so successful is just always something I think people gotta look at. Like, oh, that's crazy. right, exactly. Yeah. Like he has a lot of influence on my music. Uh, like you mentioned before, I, I rap and sing. He raps and sings. I, I like to make some of the same stuff, that cinematic type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. no totally, yeah. man. Um, you know, NF, uh, just like yourself and a lot of these other artists you mentioned, um. Will do a very fast flow, spit fast, you know, uh, chop a flow, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. There are people out there though who criticize that type of speed and rapping and go, "Oh, that doesn't mean you're like rapping about it." Right. I, I, I can barely understand you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you, know, you are, are you really saying words? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you? What do you? What's your take on when people say that? How would you respond to someone so like, "Hey, man, well, you're rapping fast, but like, so what? Like, what would you even say to something like that?" I, I'll just show them. <laughs> just like, okay, like I, I'll break it down for you. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like a chemical burner, but they would tip with the minister comes to them and it is a given. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've been killing the rhythm in every language. Mm-hmm. Like you don't hear that? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. yeah. You just you listen closely, like expand on your ears, you know what I mean? And Yeah. It's hard to do it. That, that's really how you understand it. Yeah, it's hard to like say it without coming off like pretentious, but like it's really yeah. just like, yo, man, just like Either like look up the lyrics or like just listen better. I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's yeah. like when you rap, you like enunciate very well. So it's pretty like like just listen closely. Like you'll understand. Yeah, that, you know what that's I mean? how, and like as a rapper, that's how you know you're doing it right. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, cause oh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely examples of like when people rap fast and it's like they're doing it for the sake of rapping fast. But like, there's people who will make fun of that too, and I'm like, like. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's like, it's still cool. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, what do you want? Like, just rapping slow the whole time? I don't know. Like, it's just like, it's not like, it's like, what are you digging? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like, I, I never. It's much that. more fun to do and to listen to, to just throw in like different, different flows. You know, yeah, it's, it's got to be in there, you know? Yeah. And it's it, got to be in there. Yeah. It's not like you're doing it a whole song. Like you got to you throw it in when it's right. It's like, it's not right. like yeah, it's a whole song. So yeah. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's always funny when people say that stuff. It's like. Like, what is a fast flow? What's a medium flow? What's a, like, what are we even talking about? Know, like, it's, it's all semantics yeah. at that point. It's like, because... Yeah, right. Because, yeah, like, they, they insane, just, like, you know? trying to, like, <laughs> overanalyze that and everything. Yeah, because it's like, you show me some songs, and I'm like, well, if that's the case, well, that rapper's rapping fast, if you ask me. Like, you wouldn't yeah. call that fast <laughs> rap, but you're going to call Tech 9 fast because he does, does it in a certain way. It's just like, Yeah. He does it like in the most technical manner possible, like him and Twista, yeah. Busta Rhymes, fucking crazy with it, yeah. you know? Yeah, they're, they're they they rap. They're fast. the best to ever do it, to, you know. To me, 
Yeah, for sure. I mean, like if someone, yeah, yeah Tech Nine is just. I mean, I've I've learned a lot from Tech Nine. Like when people ask yeah. me, like, how did you learn how to rap or blah? I, I say, like, well, Tech Nine helped like a lot. And like, really? I'm like, yes, yeah. really. <laughs> he, know? like after I heard him, I forget what I don't remember which interview it was, but like he meant he like mentioned like the way like you chop is like you think of it as percussion. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. however the um the beat is. You know, just, just 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 ride the wave. You know, just 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 ride the beat that way. You know what I mean? Like, what kind of percu- like what kind of percussion can you add to it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you man. That's I mean? like yeah. When I it's funny you you you've heard that too because when I heard that like this was like years ago he said that in an interview. I remember just being like. <gasps> Boom, you're like, yeah. oh shit. Like, right. It's like, <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's not makes... this way. The way I've been doing it is this. Yeah, man. And I, I, I would sit there and just be like, yeah. you know what I mean? And then yeah. you just develop that and, you know, form words. <laughs> yeah, straight up, man. Yeah. Straight up, dude. Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's fun. It's, it takes skill to take skill to rap at a certain speed like that because over time you realize oh i can't say this word i if i'm gonna do this i gotta make sure to do that because i don't want to repeat too much like like yeah uh, people don't understand how crazy it gets when you're rapping at certain for real speed, you know? okay you right anything. here I, I gotta you know i gotta have this section for ad libs you know what i'm saying i gotta do dubs i gotta do all this shit yeah make sure but, i can breathe and actually do this you yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah if you really and care that much yeah <laughs> and when it's done it's when and like when it's mixed right like it sounds incredible yeah, like, yeah, tight. You know, the, you know, yeah. the more you add to it, the more soul you put into it, like, the better it gets. The yeah, better it yeah. Is. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, dude. And it's just, uh, it's dope to see that you've, uh, I would say you've mastered the, that type of style, man, for sure. Like, I, yeah. I will go, I will, well, I will just, you know, say that for sure. You've mastered that type of flow, man, and it's extremely impressive every time you, uh, you hit him with it. But, uh, and, like I said with you, man, the type of artist you are, like, it's like not only are you capable of doing flows like that, but, like, you can really, really sing, man. Like, it's, it's yeah. I was impressed when I saw you live, like, hitting notes. I'm like, oh, shit, life okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> when did you add that to your arsenal of skills? Because um, I'm going to go on a whim and assume you rapped and then sang. Am I correct? I actually started singing. Actually, oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't yeah. pick up. I didn't pick yeah. up rap until like later on. I wow. I started singing. I started singing when I was like four or five, six years old. Oh, that makes so much sense now, dude. Yeah, I was just too so good at singing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was always in my choir too. So okay, you were in choir. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, it's so all that, that that's that's where that comes from. And then like I, you know, I wanted to rap. Like I felt at the time more comfortable that I could you know rap. I'm like I can write rap easier than like singing, at, you know, f- for the time, and then um, just start to you know to start to integrate and figure out more ways to you know incorporate the, those those two. I got it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. that's that's so that's so cool to hear, man. Which so with that being the case, since you 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 got you got the vocals of that of, the, of that nature, because you be hitting high notes and everything. Um, yeah. Would you ever drop like a R and B project or like a singing would, only yes. project? Oh man, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, that that would be cool. I think I think. And like, be... I would still I would still rap a little bit too. Like if I'm gonna drop an R and B album, like it'll you know most it'll be obviously like mostly singing, um, but you know I'll, I'll, I'll rap a little bit too. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think that would be I, cool. I, I always you know keep that hip hop element in there just because it's cool, you know. Yeah, for sure. You know, you just mean yeah. what, what comes natural to you. And I think um, yeah. in this day and age, a rapper has got to have a lot of tools, man. So, like, you know, you're, you're, um, you know, you're definitely capable of you know, doing a bunch of different things. But I think you're, you're unique in the way you sing and the way you rap. You know, a lot of times people, when they do both, one tends to, like, be the slightly better than the other. Right. You know, or, like, yeah. or like very, like, similar to each other. Whereas, like, you yeah. feel like you're rapping and singing has, like, like it's just a it cohesiveness. Does a, yeah, it's a cohesiveness and it does it's very strong what you're singing. You know, like a lot of times people can sing, but it's like it's it's just good enough. Like you can yeah. like, like you're singing, bro. Like you know what I mean? Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So I'll talk yeah. your shit for you, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Um definitely good shit on that, bro. For real, for real. Um, you know, I wanna ask you, man, you know, I was going through the catalog and um, you know, I didn't want to ask you about too many songs of yours. But the one that I really was messing with um, was uh, Limitless. 
Um, yeah. Talk about that one and uh, what it was like writing it and all that stuff. I hit like a lyrical, um, what do you call it? <clears throat> like a new pure, uh, a new like lyrical PR, if you will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, at the time, I'm like, oh shit. Like it just, I don't know. Like when I hear certain beats, like I have to like feel it. And I felt that one extra. And I just wanted to, you know, make a song about, you know, just being limitless. You really, you really have no limits. They say like sky's the limit, but like you can like break well past that. Mm-hmm. So. That's that's what that song is about. Yeah, bro, spreading yeah. that spreading that positive message, dog. That, that's that's what I felt like I should have written at the time. So that that that's how I wrap my shit. Like I'll just think about it and I'll just go with it. Yeah, no, straight yeah. up. And I think that's you know I think uh you know you gotta when you're writing music, man, it's just got you gotta just you know follow your heart. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like a lot of times, um, you know, a lot of times you'd be coming up with shit subconsciously. You're like, oh shit! Like you look back on your lyrics, you're like. Oh damn! Like, yeah, you know, I, I didn't realize even what I wrote now until I look back. You know, something right. like that. So, man, I, like the, that the was, traffic I was sitting in today was bullshit. I'm, I'm, you know, and then you start rapping about like, you know, Boston traffic or like yeah. New York traffic. Or, you know what I mean? Just simple things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's like it can be very, very uh, simple of right. that nature. You know, you don't, you never have to overthink it. So, um, right. So, sometimes less is more. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, I mean, some of the best beats, some of my favorite songs, the beats are simple, very, you know, they're not doing too much. So, like, yeah, yeah. Always, yeah, always, yeah, never overthink it. Absolutely, man. Um, yo, man, you know, uh, you, you dropped a very, 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 very dope project this year. Yes, sir. Um, titled Lord Forgive Me. Um, and uh, I had the honor of being a part of this project. And I want to say thank you very much for hitting your boy up and uh, Hell yeah. collabing, dog. Um, that, you know, it was really dope to do it. You know, I feel like every time you send me a track, it's always some fire, dog. So. <laughs> yes, sir. And you, you you always deliver, you know. So I'm going to keep, you know, sending you stuff and shit. Yeah, man. I got to get, get you one of my songs, though, man. I think yes, I got to get you on a Absolutely. chorus, bro, or something. We got we to gotta do something, like, different than the other two. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? But I got to come correct when you send me shit, dog. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm like working with you and Jay Faith. I'm like, yo, these guys be spitting. They got like good lyrics, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And so I gotta yeah. make sure I come correct, man. So it's you know, I guess iron sharpens iron. You know what I'm saying? Dog? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, um, much love, man. Yeah, for sure, dog. For real, for real. Um, the title, Lord forgive me, man. That's some deep, like that's yeah. deep. Um, was uh, were you like self conscious about? Tiling a project, Lord forgive me, because I think someone could perceive that as like, oh shit, like that's that's pretty deep. Um, what made you go yeah. with the title? Um, you know, I, I was going through some heavy shit at the time, and like I, I thought of the concept, like Lord forgive me for all the things that I let myself feel and like you know didn't talk about and all that stuff. So like I just keep it just uh, all poured into that in, into that album. Um, it started off with like my uh, you know most shitty times, and then it just like progresses and transitions into something uh better right now you know what i mean I, i'm good right now so tra- it transitions you know into toward the, the the end of the album just like being in a better state of mind yeah man. Yeah. Oh, yeah i mean i can and i can tell you're like in a lot more of a positive energy i can just you know yeah. I can just tell what you now man and um you know it's really dope to uh you know uh for you to be vulnerable in your music like that man i don't think uh people understand how difficult that can be <laughs> right you know, putting it all on front street like that. And, you know, sometimes it's hard too, but you know, there comes a time where like as an artist, you got to do it. You know, you'll, you'll feel a thousand times better. It's better to, you know, put your emotions into like an artistic way and, you know, get that out there and have it be, it, it's relatable because everybody goes through um, the, the same thing, you know? So, um, yeah, just got to keep that going. Yeah, man. No, that's um, that's really dope to hear. And there's a lot of misconceptions, like way too many misconceptions still about, um, you know, mental health in general um, and how important it is to, you know, maintain, um, you know, a higher balance with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, dude, totally. And I yeah. think, um, you know, rap such a good medium to like convey such deep messaging. So yeah. like the fact that, you know, you're addressing mental health in your music in this nature, it's just it's it's needed, bro. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah, like and that, that that that's one of the things that made hip hop better, because more and more artists were like making inspirational songs like that. Like we gotta get up, we gotta we gotta stand together, and you know through this shit, you know what I mean. You would have never known I was feeling this way or this person was feeling that way if they didn't come to the forefront and talk about it. Yeah, man. You no, know, let's make it a, a, a discussion. You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. And what better way to do it than through the music or anything artistic, creative? No, for sure, dude. Like people on Instagram, they're always, you know, trying to be all flashy and trying to show off and all that stuff. And it's like, yeah. we got to be realistic with ourselves. Like, you know, life is, is ebbs and flows. You know, sometimes you're feeling great. Sometimes you're feeling okay. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you may be feeling down, unfortunately, but that's life. And, and um, no pun intended. Uh, right. And, uh, <laughs> right. you know, and, uh, and, you know, it's just no, that's those- right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, you're, yeah, you're, you're right on the money with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Um, was it ever a difficult, difficult for you to be vulnerable the way you are now? Um, Cause I know you're a little bit older than me, right? It, 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 like, it took a while. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah. it took a while. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's like a, a constant battle when you're going through it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you'll, you'll be up and then you'll feel down again. You won't you won't know why. It's just mm-hmm. it goes up and down. But you, you just reach that point where you've, you know, strengthened yourself up to just, you know, get through it. The next time you, you are, you know, feeling these things, you'll you'll know how to go go about it. Yeah, man. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I think you're uh, like 29. 29. Yeah, see, yeah. Man, and that's the thing, like, you know, I'm 26, but like, I really feel like the older I got, the less I gave a shit. I'm like, I'm just yeah. gonna tell it like it is, man. Cause if I don't, I just can't make music. Like I'm, I'm not here to lie on my shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So it's like one of those things. I'm always like, I don't mind getting older with it, cause I feel like it's just, it's been helping my music. Just you know, not you know, just right. Exactly. Forward. And like we're 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 at like a, um, you know, we're we're at a point where where you know, if something if something happens, it's like all right, well, fuck it. <laughs> you yeah. know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, like straight up, man. It's That's really like, how you got to treat it. Yeah, dude. No, simple as that, man. Um, Now, off this project, Lord forgive me, do you have a, a favorite right at the moment? Or, like, is there a song, like, if, if someone was like, yo, man, I got a little, I only got time to listen to one song off this project, what song are you going to send them? Man, probably Strive for something. Yeah, that's um, a good one. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. That, yeah, yeah. You, you, you've you been there from when I performed it and all yeah, that. So it's, dog, it's fun. Yeah. yeah um, I just get people to, you know, put their cell phone lights on and everything. We, we light the place up and just go back and forth. And that's, you know, th- through those last courses. It's amazing. Yeah, bro. Yeah. No, that's a really dope track, bro. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, that's a good one to, to send to people to. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> Even if there's only like ten people in the room, we still we, we still do it, you know. Oh yeah, man. You so that's like- one. Um, I also like all for me. Um, never lose. Uh, stay alive. Hours. Um, mm-hmm. Hell yeah, man. Out of the shadows. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, those. I mean, this the whole project's fire, man. But I had to ask, you know, if he, you know, yeah, he, he probably. I knew you probably had one that you got to choose, but <laughs> so I figured that yeah, it's a good choice, though, man. Absolutely, yeah. dog. Um, yeah. Yo, man. I I know you. Are definitely somebody who's you know just hungry and passionate about this music so what else you got in the works man i know i know you cooking up something else <laughs> yeah uh you know i just came off of my first uh grind mode cypher oh uh, damn, man I've yeah seeing that. Yeah, dope, man. yeah that that was dope we shot that in uh in worcester i can't, I can't wait to see how that came out i want to say what like, more consistent with that um you know a, a lot of the time they do those cyphers um like consistently gain a buzz of some sort you know so that's important like they're they're a great community too they're they're, they're a great brand uh they're all for everybody uh they give everybody a shot even if you're just starting out mm-hmm. um yeah, yeah i did that and right now i mean i'm just like slowly like you know writing new shit new content mm-hmm. awesome, uh, man. yeah I've, um of course i you know dropped the song with mofo playing cards we, sh- we shot the video that's out now um, I have another another video coming out. Um, not not sure not sure when, but it's it's it's, it's in the works. Hell yeah! Um, so yeah, that that's what's going on really. Yeah. And man. I also have a I also have a show um, this Thursday this Thursday October twenty seventh at Sammy's Patio okay. uh, in Revere. So if you're in the area, if you're from the Boston area, go to Sammy's Patio Thursday, October twenty seventh, eight o'clock. I'm performing. I'll have T-shirts available. Let's have a good time. Hell yeah, man! Hey, this is this is gonna drop in two days, so they get a two all day, right. They got a two Word, day notice. Okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> so y'all will know. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all better yeah. be there. I better yeah. see you there. Yeah, literally, like you gave you gave them the warning, bro. You let them know, yeah. man. Um, yo, life. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, 
being on the platform today, man. Um, Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I didn't have to tell you to plug shit. You, you just went right into it. So that's what I'm talking yeah. about, man. I just have one more question I want to ask you, man, because you definitely seem like someone with a lot of wisdom and knows a lot of shit and just aware of yourself. Um, yeah. What's, I ask this with every artist I have on the show, anybody, just because everyone always has something great to bring to this question. But yes. what's your advice to any artist who's starting out? What's something you would tell them that you wish someone told you when you start? You know, it's not going it, to, it's never easy. Like everybody starts out crappy, to be honest. Like I'll, I'll, I'll say that, but you, 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 you um, just, just keep working at it. No matter what level you're at, just keep finding your craft, keep at it. You know, e even if you're not good at first, like the more you do it, the, the better you get really, you know, that's, just how things are, you, you know, the more you practice, the better you get, um, you know, stay hungry, stay passionate, make sure you're having fun doing it and just ride the wave, see what happens, you know, get in the studio, keep, keep writing, you know, get yourself on stage, keep networking with different artists in the area and all that stuff as you, you know, climb up the ladder and all that. That's really how you get out there, man. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah. Gems right there, bro. I love it. Love to hear sure. it, man. Life. Thank you very much for being on the show today, man. I really appreciate your time, bro. For real, for real, man. Oh, yeah. This was fun. This, you know, good conversation. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Glad to make it happen. I'm surprised I didn't ha I haven't had you on sooner. It's funny. I was thinking about, I was like, man, like, I can't believe this is life's <laughs> first time on a podcast. But yeah, yeah we, we got had to make it happen, man. Definitely. Had you. <laughs> for sure, man. All and right, one more, one more thing before yeah, I go. Yeah, yeah, uh, for make sure, sure yeah, you follow yeah. me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Life, plug, 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 life yeah. on the rise. L Y F E on the rise. I'm also on Twitter. Same thing. Life on the rise. L Y F E on the rise. And I'm on uh, Facebook. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, plug, also, plug also, yeah. also TikTok. Life on the rise. Facebook. Life music official. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'll definitely be putting your at on the video in the bios everywhere. So y'all make sure all right. to follow life, all right? Like after this episode, I don't know why you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't that before, I mean, come on. <laughs> yes, follow me and come to my show in, uh, in, in Revere at Simi's Patio. <laughs> absolutely, yes. absolutely, man. Much appreciated, y'all. That's, an that's another episode of Tepper Zone Podcast. Make sure you tune in next week for another one. All right, y'all. Peace out. Peace.